Why does this camera always seem like it's crooked and I gotta fix it every fucking time? Anyway, welcome to my kitchen again. Um, who sent this? Hold on. Leave no response. Postage. So yeah, apparently you uh, Amazon will <coughs> ship to the post office. And when they do that, and it's just the right size thing to fit into my mailbox, it doesn't show up on my fucking door, and it stays in my mailbox for three days, because how often do I get to check my fucking mailbox? Uh, I have to dr Basically, if I'm driving somewhere, I check my mailbox. If I'm not driving somewhere, I'm not checking my mailbox. <laughs> pasta found the bathtub. Today was the day, Pasta, you found the bathtub. I'm so proud of you, baby. I couldn't do it. Cheese had to help me. I was like done. I was also trying to do it with a touchpad, which is much harder to do than if you have a mouse and keyboard and you're like not sitting in the little media room. Okay. So now I can finally cap off some of these fucking four. These are also the, uh, the four gang, uh, screwless covers. Where's the four gang that I have to cover? I had a four gang here. This four gang is covered. These are the screwless covers for this, for like this. That's, that's the anime cabinet. I don't know why that the light here is the one for here and the light here is, is, the, one, is the one for here. Four gang in my bedroom. This has to go in my bedroom. Okay, throw that there. And the other four gang is for there, which is not done yet because we have to change these light fixtures out, or the, uh, the switches out at least. Um, the globes, which are these fucking stupid things, I hate them. They're terrible, like they don't provide good light, and I don't like the way they look, but I gotta figure out like an actual replacement. I was thinking about like, you know in Halloween they have those bowls that look like there's fire in them because there's a fan with a piece of fabric? Like that would look cool. Pasta would hate me. Um, but something else has to be put there. The veranda, which is those lights outside, which it's time to shut them off. And then the flame bulbs were all gonna get changed out to cast the switches. Put that, I don't put that there. I have an entire pile of, here are the, the blank covers, which one has to be put there. And here are the two, wait, lots of twos. A lot of twos are gonna get swapped out in bedrooms and things like that. Okay, so, that was the boring, literally, like, how does Zeos make content this long with nothing to do? Well, you just found out. I can just do anything. I put a camera on my head. I could do anything for hours. A uh, giggity. Oh, shit. So, these might both be from Cashelli Labs. Hold on. They are. So here's the thing, the new Gashelli DAC, and I'm sorry that I did this towards the end of this unboxing because it's sort of, sort of an important thing that's happening. What is this Gashelli Labs address? Oh, it's a return envelope. They sent me a return envelope. Because the, are they actually using their stickers as the box clothes? I don't know if I hate that or like that. Because I feel like, like I could have used that, I mean, how many stickers can I put on things? Like, I don't think my refrigerator needs a Gashelli Lab sticker. Never mind, my refrigerator totally needs a Gashelli Lab sticker. Where do I put this on my refrigerator? Just like straight up? Like replace Thermador? Gashelli Labs, it's a Gashelli Labs refrigerator now. That is a huge fucking sticker. It needs to go on my ta ta taco. All right, this is the new DAC. That's the new DAC. And this should be an Erish because, no, it's both decks. The Erish, I have to send mine back. The Erish that I have, the one that I love that I reviewed, was hand soldered, because they hadn't had the sit, sh shit set up yet to do it. So I have to send them back my hand soldered Erish, because they're afraid something's gonna go wrong with it. And they're gonna replace it with the machine soldered one, which is the exact same amp, just they're gonna replace the boards. Because they don't have the case color anymore. And I, they love to send me the replace, like the, the fancy case covers. These are both, and are they using the same power brick? I love how Gashelli has made like an entire empire 
on these little 12 volt half an amp sons of bitches. But you can tell they've obviously tested these units. Um, it's not in the porn room, pasta. It's behind the porn room. Like you have to, you have to pass through whatever anyone's doing in the porn room to find it. I'm doing an unboxing. We're talking about the porn room, by the way. So, how do I open this. Suffocate children with this bag. That's what I'm seeing. And then reproductive harm is the best with uh, that. Holy Jesus. Are they both this purple? I, I can never tell when there's a color that is just for Zeos or a color that's gonna be widely available. But obviously they had to go to a different manufacturer and then I think they're painting their own boxes. Holy shit, that's a lot of I would turn <laughs> would turn down the glitter of 70%. That is a lot of glitter. That is a lot. Especially on the top where there's like ridges too. So it's like throwing me the fuck off. I mean, this is fabulous. This is some fabulous stuff. This is a new JNOG DAC. I didn't know the name of it. I don't remember if I knew the name. Because the other one was the ENOG Pro. ENOG. And this is the JNOG. And we have four status lights. Power input. You have a front spitif and coaxial in. Or a rear spit. So you could use either one. They're all independent of each other. You could use front if you're just plugging in equipment, or like temporarily, because they said a lot of pro audio people are dealing with them. And rear. You have your RC out and balanced out, and you're 12 volt in. Now, this one, only fi um, fiber optic and coaxial digital. Let's unwrap this one, which doesn't have the purple Lexan. This one has clear Lexan and a slightly lighter color, which I think pops a little more yeah the color on this one definitely that one's oh that's that one's fabulous this one's a little bit they actually did go down a little bit on the glitter but this one is the exact same thing only clear front for power input spit if coaxial usb then coaxial and then uh toss link and then rca out that that so they actually they have a usb and from what i remember from the email they're one of the only implementations since he was doing usb and you know how much how much kishali labs does not do usb it's fuck usb but if they were forced to do it which they've obviously been forced to do it they have one of the only implementations of usb that is like completely perfect streaming to the device like it's some weird I don't know the specifics because I didn't like study it. I just opened these packages and didn't know what they were. But it's they basically explain like if we're doing USB, it's going to be this level of like perfect DSD direct streaming digital to the to the to the unit. So and they're using like an Amara Amarano, Amarano, like a really well known, like they're using a good board to do this. Cause they didn't want to add it, but they added it and say, fuck you, we're gonna have the best. So you could actually get like a Shelly Labs DAC now that has not only USB and all the things you could ever need to use on the back. You don't need to, nothing has to be plugged into the front of this. Do you, do you believe it? You f Does anyone believe this? But it also comes in a giant purple case. I'm excited to play with these. And I think the only difference is this one doesn't have the USB, which I wouldn't need for most things. In fact, if I plug it into that, the Pi Hat streamer, I would just use this one because you can't USB out of that anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna end up playing with these quite a bit. Now, oh, another um, issue I should bring up now, because you're gonna have to probably read it on their blog. I'm not gonna rewrap it in this ever. Uh, these use AKM DAC chips. AKM DAC, DAC chips are um, currently on fire. And by currently on fire, I mean the actual AKM factory burned to the ground. Well, at least the top floor where they had all the manufacturing. Nice cloth. So um, the only DAC chips that they have are the ones that they had in stock, which is going to be bad news bears for um, a lot of places and a lot of companies that are doing a lot of things. Because if you can't get your DAC chips, you can't make your units. And if you can't make your units, you either have to redesign the DACs from the ground up with a different chip 
which is what they're going to attempt to do. They're going to look into some saber dacks and things. They have enough to start selling this because their volume always is always low. They sell like a hundred units a month or two hundred units in a month. They have a stockpile of enough DACs to make that happen for at least a month or two. But after that, if you can't get the DAC, then they got to redesign the inside and re-implement it for another DAC app. So I feel bad for them and I feel bad for anyone who was relying on AKM to not like burn to the ground. But uh, yeah, oh my God, the purples. My God, the purples. Anyway. So when these come out, I'm, I'm assuming they're good. I'm assuming it's gonna be good because I've been literally back and forth with emails and messages about the implementation of these. This is my first listen will be coming up probably tonight. I could put them on the uh, RF7s. Actually, yes, I can put it on the RF7s because I can, uh, yes, yes. I'll go feed the $5,000 audio valve Solaris with one of those. And the tube, the fucking arfs, yes, yes.